Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize Yuzu. So, first thing you want to do is you want to download the latest Yuzu Early Access build, which is uh, this one. 1393 because it has the um, the new buffer rewrite cache so your game will perform a lot better once you do that you then want to right click on your CMU version so I have it right here find user.exe right click properties compatibility and then run it as an administrator and you want to do the same thing for the Yuzu mainline build so go into your search bar type in Yuzu right click properties open file location right click properties run as administrator go to the yuzu windows msvc folder yuzu exe right click properties comp compatibility on this program as administrator next we're going to be optimizing the video settings so right click on desktop go to nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings and we're going to be going to the program settings go to the drop down menu if it's not already added press the add button and then locate for your yuzu exe once you find it you want to uh copy my settings so your open jail running gpu should be your graphics card power management mode should be preferred maximum performance uh third optimization needs to be on if you want to get the best fps triple buffering on vertical sync off these are the best settings for Yuzu. Now we're going to be going over your power plant settings. So go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound power options. And then click on high performance. Change plant settings. Make sure your minimum and maximum processor state are at 100%. Next you want to apply a page file. Um, what this will do is basically, this is basically virtual memory, so this will take your hard drive space as memory because Yuzu does take up a lot of memory and by adding a page file, it will, if you get a memory leak when using Yuzu, um, it will use your hard drive as slower RAM basically and it will also improve the stability of Yuzu as well, so you might want to make sure you do that. So, go to... Search up in your in your uh, search bar, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go to advanced, um, go to virtual memory, and then set the initial size to 20,000 and the maximum size to 20,000. Um, do be aware though, this will take up 20 gigabytes of your hard drive space. So yeah, and also make sure you do this on your fastest drive. So maybe that would be my C drives and SSD. And so that's what I would put the page file on. Next, for the actual Yuzu setting itself, go to Yuzu. You want to go to Emulation, Configure. You want to go to General. Make sure you have Multi Core CPU Emulation checked. Go to System. There's nothing here to do. CPU. Make sure you set your um, accuracy to unsafe. This will make Yuzu run a little bit faster and improve performance on your CPU. So yeah, debug over here. Uh, don't actually change any of these settings, just keep these enabled. Um, graphics, make sure you have your API selected to OpenGL. Uh, for the graphics settings, use disk shader cache, uh, asynchronous GPU emulation, this is really important. Um, if you have this checked and you do not have the NVIDIA 30 optimization enabled, you will not get good FPS. So make sure you have NVIDIA 30 optimization enabled in the control panel and you have this selected. Use NVDEC emulation as well, you want to have that checked. Advanced. Uh, uncheck VSync. Um, use assembly shaders, yes. Use fast GPU time, yes. Accuracy so we'll keep that at normal. Audio, nothing to change here. Controls, uh, map it to your controller. If you have DualShock 4, you're going to need a program called DualShock 4 Windows. Well, it's actually called GS4 Windows, but you know. And that, what this program basically does is it tricks Windows into thinking you're using an Xbox controller. So this is like really important if you have a, du uh, a DS4 or a DualShock 4. And then for Super Mario Odyssey, there are specific settings we could do. So this is for all the add-ons. Make sure you uncheck the update. I got horrible FPS with having this enabled. This literally like, I was getting massive stuttering. 
um so yeah make sure you uncheck this and make sure you're running it at version 1.0.0 but disable the camera blur dynamic resolution fxa web applet uh bypass general system graphics advanced graphics uncheck vsync audio okay Anyways, if you guys liked this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.